Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to share you my experience with maintenance of a slip ring, how to check its run out, and how to overhaul a slip ring. Before to start, I would like to request you to subscribe my channel if you are new and also press the bell icon for more infor informative videos. So let us start. Basically, a slip ring is defined as an electromechanical device that is used to connect a stationary system to a rotating system. It is used in applications that require rotation while transmitting power. It is also necessary to check that the slip ring runout does not exceed the acceptable limits as defined by the manufacturer. Now the question is how to check it. The, the runout you could check with a dial indicator with a wide foot. The second way is you place the indicator on the top of one bush. Runout of the slip ring must not exceed the recommended value of plus minus 0.2 mm. Otherwise, the chatter of the bushes and broken edges. If the runout value is more as per recommendations, then refurbish the slip ring with roughness of 1.6 micron is recommended. A proper slip ring roughness will give the carbon bush suitable seating base and will ensure a good current transmission. Slip ring surface must neither be too smooth nor too rough to enable optimal carbon bush performance. You can also measure the roughness with a special meter. So let us start one case example how to measure the runout and how to overhaul a slip ring. This is a slip ring that will be discussed for refurbishment due to high runout value. We shall see its condition and the impacts of bad condition of slipping. There are signs of pitting and arcs on slipping surface on all rings. The signs of pittings are shown. There are visible traces, chatter of the bushes and broken edges of the bushes clearly indicating the condition of slip ring. Bush wires also breaking and fingers got bended due to vibration. There were pieces of carbon bushes in slip ring chamber that are indicating the behavior of slip ring. As the slip ring condition is not good, so to investigate further, run out or roundness needs to be measured. For this purpose, slip ring needs to be rotated so a drive is installed. This is how the run out measured. With the help of a dial gauge indicator, the value of the dial gauge can be clearly observed. As shown, as the slip ring surface is not smooth, therefore, the needle is fluctuating accordingly. Is quite clear now. As 
as the run out or unroundedness measurement was about 0.45 mm which is higher than the recommended value of 0. plus minus 0. 0.2 mm so refurbishment needs to be done for this purpose again the slip ring needs to be rotated so a uh, external drive is installed the tool used for this uh, activity is shown another view of the tool being used for this activity one thing very important in this procedure is to take care about the roughness of the surface the surface must neither be too smooth nor too rough as the recommended value for the roughness is 0 0.6 micron the tool disconnected from the slipping surface and shown The slip ring after the refurbishment is shown. You can see the, the surface is now much improved. And this is how the machining is done for the slip ring. That's all from today. You can ask any question in comment box. Your question will be answered accordingly. Thank you.